the statistics thus far support the assertion that the economy is in recovery mode. And um, this is based on looking at all the key indicators, socioeconomic indicators, namely GDP, labor force um, statistics, trade statistics as well, and the CPI. Um, as it relates to um, the labor force statistics, there have been positive increases as it relates to um, the number of persons employed and actively employed in the economy. Also, there has also been um, positive increases as it relates to the number of um, employable persons. So based on the results that we have so far from our labor force survey that we conduct on a quarterly basis, um, we see the areas of recovery experiencing the most um, growth, right? So in other words, the areas that would have been most impacted by the pandemic, we're talking about areas like um, accommodation and restaurants, um, also real estate, um, communication, uh, transport. Um, we see significant growth also in the um, arts and entertainment industry. So you see that these, um, these areas that were most impacted by the pandemic, you, you, you see they experiencing the um, most um, significant growth. Was 2022 a good year for jobs in Singapore? Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially um, relative to the experience in 2021 and 2020, like we see, um, the economy is in recovery and so you could um, say by extension that um, 2022 was a good year in terms of um, that experience of recovery in the labor market.